The following question deals with moles and ratios. Again, uh, a trial and error method would be used to check uh, which of the three options would be correct. So, let me read the question first. Uh, the question states that zinc reacts with hydrochloric acid according to the following equation. So, this equation, zinc plus 2HCl uh, reacting to produce zinc chloride and hydrogen gas, that's already given. And he's asked which of the statements are correct. So, one by one, we're going to check uh, which statement is going to, going to be correct. So, Starting with option number one, you have 3.27 grams of zinc reacts with an excess of hydrochloric acid, which means that all of this zinc, which is uh, 3.27 grams, so let's underline that of zinc reacts, and it's uh, going to produce 0 0.05 moles of zinc chloride. So we need to test whether this option is going to be the correct option or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to construct a balanced equation. So uh, the equation is already there, so let's... Uh, Pick that equation to HCl reacting and producing. It's producing zinc chloride, ZnCl2, and it's producing hydrogen gas. So we need to figure out whether uh, the, this information is correct. So you've given 3.27 grams of zinc, and the first thing would be to find the moles of zinc. So the moles of zinc would be the mass of zinc divided by the atomic mass of zinc, uh, relative atomic mass of zinc, which is 65.4. And we're going to use our calculator to solve this. So it's going to be 3.27 divided by 65.4. Um, and the answer that we're getting is 0 0.05 moles. So zinc is 0 0.05 moles. And if you look at the ratio, one zinc produces one zinc chloride. So the amount of zinc and the amount of zinc chloride is exactly going to be the same. So one ratio one means that if you have 0 0.05 moles of zinc, then 0 0.05 moles of zinc chloride would be produced because it's it's existing in the same ratio. It's being produced in the same ratio according to the equation. So you have 0 0.05 moles of zinc chloride that would be produced, which is why this option number one is going to be your correct option. Similarly, let's now check option number two. In option number two, you have 6.54 grams of zinc, which is reacting completely with 100 cm cube of one mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid. So we're going to ensure whether there's going to be a complete reaction and he's only asked whether zinc reacts completely or not. So let's confirm that. So you have, uh, again, you have 6.54 grams of uh, zinc, which uh, we can convert that into moles. Finding moles would be mass divided by the molar mass, atomic mass of zinc, which is 65.4. And that would be equal to 6.54 divided by 6.54 dividing that by 65.4 and that gives me 0 0.1 moles. So this is this is 0. Point, equal to 0 0.1 moles. Now one zinc reacts with 2 HCl. That means it's one ratio 2. So 0 0.1 moles is going to react with 0 0.2 moles. So for a complete reaction, the amount of HCl should be equal to 0 0.2 moles. What information that he has given about HCl is that you have 100 cm cube of 1 mole per dm cube HCl. Now we can find the moles of HCl. We need, remember for a complete reaction, we need 0 0.2 moles of HCl. So we can check the moles of HCl by using the formula for concentration. Moles would be concentration, which is 1 mole per dm cube, multiplied by the volume and the volume should be in dm cube so it's 100 cm cube divided by 1000 so uh, so the formula for moles for a solution is concentration multiplied by volume and according to this you're only getting 0 0.1 moles but according to the ratio in the equation we need 0 0.2 moles of HCl so therefore a complete reaction would not be possible in option number two. So this statement, Zinc reacts completely, is going to be an incorrect option. Now we're going to check option number three as well. Uh, remember when option number two is incorrect, option number three should also be incorrect. Uh, but we're going to check uh, option number three anyways. So you have 13.08 grams of zinc. So now we have 13.08 grams of zinc and we're going to find the moles mass of zinc divided by the relative atomic mass of zinc which is uh, 65.4 and we would be finding moles this way and using my calculator uh, this would be 13.08 
divided by 65.4 and that gives me 0 0.2 moles so now I have 0 0.2 moles of zinc and the question states that when it reacts with an excess of hydrochloric acid which means that this zinc reacts completely it's going to give or produce 9.6 dm cube of hydrogen so so let's see whether 9.6 dm cube of hydrogen is produced uh, so you have 0.2 moles of zinc now zinc and hydrogen exist in one ratio one one zinc produces one hydrogen molecule so it's the same ratio which means that the moles of zinc and the moles of hydrogen are going to be exactly the same so if you have 0.2 moles of zinc the moles of hydrogen are also going to be 0 0.2 moles so you have 0 0.2 moles of hydrogen and we need to find the volume of hydrogen volume of hydrogen would be the moles of hydrogen multiplied by the molar volume which is 24 decimeter cube and our volume is going to be it's going to be 0 0.2 multiplied by 24 and that comes out to be 4.8 dm cube which shows that this option number three is incorrect you're not going to get 9.6 dm cube so finally if option number two is incorrect and option number three is incorrect and only option number one is correct then according to the uh, scheme of answers, the option uh, that you're going to circle is going to be option D, that only one is correct.